Check it, check, check, recording, check, check. Welcome back to the Side by Side Guys Off Road Podcast. I'm Big Z, and we are here in the studio for a very special episode. This is our annual gift guide episode. And today I'm doing something a little bit special. Um, normally every year we do a gift guide on our website where we'll pick um, a few different uh, items uh, for whoever is in the studio and uh, we'll expound upon why we chose those products as a gift idea for your holiday gift guide. Um, this year I thought it'd be interesting to do a little bit uh, something different and bring the rest of the expanded community into the episode. So I put a pitch out there to everybody on social, uh, kind of just went down my Instagram DMs and just started hitting everybody up saying, hey, if you want to participate in this episode, I'd love to have you. And uh, the only rule, the only rule that I actually proposed to this was it couldn't be your product. So uh, there's a bunch of people in this episode that will uh, have a video where they're recommending something, but it's not their product. So uh, super stoked on that. It gives us kind of a sense of community to uh, throw out some gift guide ideas without having it be a sales pitch. And uh, so I'm super stoked about that. I'm super stoked that we have so many people participating this year. This was kind of a last minute idea that I had. Um, and uh, I think it turned out well. I think uh, next year this will even be bigger and better and even cooler. So um, yeah, let's jump right into it. Um, first, uh, first up is our buddy Matt from Savage UTV. What's going on? It is Matt with Savage UTV. We are just packing up the truck, heading to the Baja 1000. And uh, I have got a great recommendation for a holiday gift for you guys because we just got done loading them in the truck and that is AO Coolers. Um, we are not affiliated with them in any way, but we use the heck out of their coolers. Uh, my favorite is their soft bag. Um, they make a couple different kinds, but these coolers are built really well. They take the beating of the vibrations of off-roading um, with your, you know, aluminum cans and ice in there and never have any issues with the cans rupturing and the ice stays cold for a super long time so not super expensive for how good of a cooler it is um, and they're they come in sizes that are really awesome for utvs to be able to tuck them you know out of the way so check them out aocoolers.com and enjoy the holidays awesome matt thanks for uh, submitting your video uh matt has uh like he said was just down in baja uh, for the Baja 1000 race, and he actually shared some videos with us that we posted online of some of the winners coming through. Um, Matt's always uh, an awesome guy. If you uh, have a chance to meet Matt, give him a high five. He's an awesome dude. He's a firefighter, uh, and uh, definitely uh, thanks for his service to our communities. Um, he also makes some badass uh, UTV belt cases, um, Pelican-style cases for your UTV belt. Check him out. Um, but uh, his recommendation, AO Coolers, uh, I hadn't heard of them before. I went and looked at them. Um, the soft coolers that he mentioned are pretty sweet. The uh, AO Carbon is what I'm looking at. And uh, they have a 12-pack, 24-pack, 36-pack, and a 48-pack size in that uh, type of bag. Um, they have a dark and a light-colored version of it. And it uh, is pretty sweet. It uh, looks like it would fit behind some of those UTV seats or um, in the bed or, or whatnot. But definitely taking your cooler out with you on the trails is always a good idea to stay hydrated, to keep some snacks in, um, and uh, even more importantly, have a way to pack stuff out. So a lot of times people will take their drinks and what snacks out with them uh, without anything to bring them back in, and the trash usually falls out on the trail or whatever. So uh, I like to use my coolers uh, as double duty to cool and keep on the way out and to contain on the way back. So uh, great idea. Check it out, aocoolers.com. And uh, thanks for the submission, Matt. All right, up next we have Adam Brown, somebody I got the chance to meet in UTV Takeover San Hollow this year. Uh, he's quite the unique guy from down south. Um, he is a Honda Talon racer. Um, and by racer, I mean he does hill climbs, rock bouncing. Um, and uh, I believe this next season he's going to be doing King of Hammers in a Talon. Uh, and so he's a really cool guy, has a lot of energy, likes to go hard, doesn't hold back, keeps the, keeps the skinny pedal down. And uh, let's see what he has to say. Hey, I'm Adam Brown. I currently build the Honda Talon transmissions. Um, I would like to see for Christmas uh, a Craftworks Turbo. They put off a lot of power, great performance. I think it'd be a great add-on to my Honda racing machine when I race King of the Hammers. I uh, hope everybody has a great Christmas and Happy New Year. 
All right, so Adam, your Kraftwerk picks is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of guys in the Honda Talon uh, community uh, really kind of look towards the Jackson um, turbo kit as kind of the de facto go-to uh, turbo kit for a Talon. But Kraftwerks, uh, as a lot of you may know, I've worked with a little bit at Takeover, um, and we got some content coming out for Kraftwerks. Check that out uh, coming out soon. Um, he's going. He's he's looking at a turbo kit for his Talon. Um, and uh, maybe some transmission parts too from from talking to him. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think he's looking for big power going into hammers this season, and uh, can't wait to see uh, what he'll do on the race course, uh, especially in a Talon platform. Uh, the Craftworks Turbo Kit is pretty sweet. Uh, it's pretty much all bolt on. It's um, they the Craftworks is kind of known for their supercharged kits, um, but with the Talon, you can't really get access to. Um, the pulley to to throw a um, supercharger on, so they went with a turbo kit for the talons, and uh, yeah, they uh, they rip, they totally rip. So if you get a chance to check out a Craftworks uh, turbo talon um, at one of the shows, I highly recommend it. All right, up next we have Chad from Deviant Race Parts. Hey guys, Chad here with Deviant Race Parts. Hey, I've been tasked with uh, providing one item that I give to a loved one during the holiday season, for Christmas, whatever that holiday may be. The one thing that I carry in my personal vehicles, my pickup, my UTV, is a bubba rope. I carry this unit on my, uh, in my UTV. It's got 20 foot of ropes, good for 14,000 pounds. It comes with two easy to use soft shackles as well as a carry bag to store it all when you're not using it. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. I hope you guys have a blessed 2023 and look forward to seeing y'all out on the trails very soon it's uh chad is the owner of deviant race parts uh, per, uh previously of um uh, alligator diesel performance uh so you may know him from that uh he's been on the podcast a couple times uh we went with him to utv takeover utah so that was super cool to spend time with him and zach nemick and uh, get to know those guys a little bit more than i previously had uh great trip all around um lots of interesting stories <laughs> both uh, public and not public from that trip. So a uh, shout out to uh, the Deviant guys. Uh, we put the Deviant uh, suspension on the Razor. Uh, we went and did a bunch of uh, photo shoots with their suspension on the Razor. So look for that content coming out soon as well. But while we were in Utah, uh, he had some friends bring up uh, their Razors along with his uh, Razor Pro R and um, on, a, on a flatbed or a, on a gooseneck. Uh, and they got stuck in the sand. And so he actually took his bubble rope out to, uh, those guys and were able to pull them with their trailer out with this recovery rope. Uh, so I've definitely seen it in, in action, but, uh, but those kinetic ropes are really a must have for anybody that may be in or helping others in trouble being stuck in sand or mud or whatever. Um, uh, when you get dug in, you really need, um, a way to tug hard on something to get them out of the hole. Um, and a, a kinetic rope is really the solution for that. So the bubble rope system, um, is a great uh, solution. It comes, like he said, with the bag and the shackles and everything. So it's kind of like all in one kit that you can throw in the back of the truck and use for, for anything. Uh, great solution there. All right. Next up. Hey guys, Ty here from Badass Mounds. I want you to check out what we've been doing. We're working on the car a little bit. We've got a Hess Motorsports radiator going in. Car's really torn apart, but that's what happens when you do it right. We've got a push turbo in. Beautiful kit. Call Ken over there at Push. Great guy, knows his stuff. This is gonna be sweet. 265 horse, um, should be awesome. We're going to get it ready and fire it up next week. So stay tuned. All right. Thanks, Ty, for that. Uh, Ty is from Badass Mounts. They make a uh, kind of like an A-pillar mount for putting a pod light, uh, but it has a pull, a spring-loaded pull pin that you can then rotate the the actual mount at various degrees uh, all the way to, you know, 90 degrees left or right, uh, giving you a full 180 uh, degree sweep with, uh, the automatic locking pin as soon as you rotate it to the next position. Uh, pretty cool solution. If you have an overlanding truck or uh, a vehicle where you want the light to stay in one position most of the time, but have the option to flip it sideways or at an angle, uh, really kind of a cool solution for if you want, um, you know, if you don't want to be running with both light bars and pods and, you know, bumper mounts and all that stuff. You kind of just want one solution that does it all. Um, and you can throw those on your A-pillars. 
and then have forward facing pod lights and then rotate it sideways to be, you know, a peripheral fill or, you know, a side fill if you have uh, work to do on the side of the road or if you just need to look out in the field or, or whatever the case may be. Um, anyways, his pick, um, he's building a uh, Wildcat XX, uh, I believe it's a race car he's building, um, and he's uh, he's choosing to go with push turbos. They have a full build kit for uh, the XX and uh, looks to be kind of a killer little solution to build up the power on your Wildcat. Um, it'll be cool to see that car fully built and uh, see how much power they can put down and how much they can uh, succeed in that chassis. So next up, somebody that uh, not a lot of people know the face of, but you may have seen the brand around uh, the industry a lot lately, especially in the racing scene. Uh, Ness from X Travel and uh, New Line Products. Hey guys, Nestor here. Um, holiday gift ideas. LSK makes a really cool uh, door kit for the X3 and the uh, Pro R. Um, also uh, CSD, they have a really cool uh, rear tire mount for the Pro R's, uh, something really cool, different, innovative. Um, definitely would be on my Christmas list. All right, thanks, Nestor. This is a kind of a cool uh, recommendation of having a couple solutions for your cars in two different brands. Um, LSK is pretty popular with their cages and suspension kits uh, for various different trucks and UTVs. Um, they have cage options, they have door options, they have um, all sorts of different things uh, for UTVs and for trucks. Uh, the Can-Am doors are pretty trick. They look really good. They have um, they take the lines off that front fender and extend it back to the rear fender, but in kind of like a side scoop style. Uh, that looks really sweet. It, it plays off really well where it's not just the standard horizontal lines across the door. They have some style and flair to them, and they look really good. And then they would look really, really good wrapped. So if you're uh, looking to have your car, your X3 wrapped, uh, both the two-door and the four-door kits look extremely nice. Um, and if I had an X3, I would definitely consider them. They are, uh, they're not high doors. They don't come up over that, uh, front shoulder by the A pillar, but, uh, so they do, they still provide you line of sight to the side, uh, while looking really, really good. And for his second pick, the CSD Razor spare tire carrier, they have a few different options, uh, for various models of, uh, UTV, but, uh, they provide a, a various solutions to mount your tire to the rear of the car behind the, um, behind the exhaust or up in the bed, utilizing as much space as possible to keep the weight down as low as possible. Um, all, you know, super thick, high quality uh, tube um, and welding and all that stuff. So check that out if you're looking for a spare tire carrier for your Razor. All right, up next we have our friends from Highlifter. Hey guys, I'm Chris with Highlifter. My holiday gift guide suggestion is anything Gator Waiters. They get you from the mud riding season all the way through the hunting season. Happy holidays from Highlifter. Yeah, I, I think waders are one of those overlooked um, pieces of apparel that you up here in the Northwest where we're at, we don't really think about a whole lot unless you're a fisherman. Um, but a good set of waders can keep you dry when you're out getting muddy uh, or if you have uh, inclement weather, weather coming in while you're out on a, on a rip um, or if you're with a, bud, uh, a group of people where you're behind getting roosted all the time. Uh, it's nice to just be able to rip the waders off and come out clean. The uh, guys down south and out in the East Coast, uh, waders are a little bit more common, uh, definitely for them as they uh, experience a whole lot more mud riding than we do over here on the West Coast. But uh, I think, uh, and I've wanted for, uh, a set for a long time, and I think I've uh, really kind of come down to to wanting to get a full set. Um, I get hot in waders pretty quick, so I'd have to get a lightweight set. But I know that Gator Waiters has a full selection of waiters from uh, thin wall to insulated, uh, from low rise to high rise. Uh, they have some cool strap options that keep things comfortable. Um, and they do have a full line of apparel now that go alongside with the waiters. So check them out at waiters, uh, GatorWaiters.com. Next up, we have our buddy Chuck from Pro Eagle. Hey, all this is Chuck Foreman with Pro Eagle. And uh, my idea for the holiday gift guide is uh, pretty simple. I know we're all feeling the, the financial pinch recently and uh, um, something that your loved ones would appreciate and it won't break the bank is check out Feel Baja or Trophy Burrow. 
So both of those guys have awesome swag and uh, hats and shirts and all kinds of stuff that are very much off-road uh, related and um, Baja related. They're all from Baja and um, they love the sports. They love motorsports and off-road racing and uh, it shows in all of their clothing. So hats, shirts, um, all kinds of stuff for your family and I'm sure they'll love it. Thanks, Chuck. Uh, yeah, uh, Feel Baja, I didn't even know about until uh, he sent his submission in. I've seen a lot of these shirts around. I didn't know that this was an actual like first party apparel um, design and, and production company. Uh, they have some really cool uh, t shirts there, very much in the style of race team apparel uh, with, you know, logos down the front or uh, specific cars. Um, these are a lot, a lot of really cool t shirts here. And I could see a lot of, um, uh, people's children, uh, youth, teenagers, whatever, really liking these as well. Uh, and they do have um, some cool ones that have, you know, some more feminine colors with them as well. So uh, the ladies uh, that like to off-road uh, could probably find something here they like too that has a little bit more of an, uh, a racing feel to it. And and like I said earlier, a lot of guys are down at Baja this last weekend. Um, and uh, shout out to everybody that competed, uh, finished, and um, especially to those that finished the race. I thought it was pretty cool uh seeing um you know uh brandon sims uh take the pro r down to baja 1000 first time and crush it there uh in the pro open class um and then we saw um sorry i have to look at my own uh social posts to remember uh who was winning what but we had austin whalen in a can-am come through on the pro turbo class uh his car was actually really beat up and uh leaving some baja blood on the ground um so he definitely earned his podium uh, and then we also had uh, Risk Racing, Caden Wells, uh, totally dominate the naturally aspirated class um, and take, I believe, the score season win as well. Um, so congrats to those guys for throwing down in Baja and rocking um, the skill set and the vehicles uh, to the finish line. Next up, we got our boys from UTV Obsessions. I'm going to play them all together. There's a few guys from the shop that work every day on these cars uh, that submitted their picks. So I'll run them all together, and uh, and we'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Fred here at UTV Obsession. So my gift pick idea is the Amped Harnesses. They're a four-point design with an auto buckle. They come in a variety of colors. Great idea for making any off-road car look great. Hey, guys. Seth with UTV Obsessions here. This year, my pick is going to be the UTV Stereo Can-Am X3 Battery Jump Post Kit. If you own a Can-Am X3, you know how much of a pain it is if you have to jump your car or access your battery with removing the rear seat. This is gonna take care of that for you. You hook up your two cables, your positive and negative, mounts on the rear firewall, and uh, gives you easy access point for uh, getting power to it, whether you need to jump your car or you wanna charge it while you have it at camp or in storage or anything like that. What's up everybody? Matt here at YouTubeobsessions.com, and today my holiday gift guide pick is the Dune Gear Touch on Dome Light. This is a great gift to get anybody. It's affordable and functional, and you're sure to impress your buddies with it. Two bolts to bolt it to the cage, hardwire it, and touch on. Touch on and off with just your finger, and uh, it goes great on any build. So you guys have a great holiday season. And have a safe and fun holiday. I hope everybody has a great holiday season. Thanks, Matt and Seth, uh, Fred. You guys are all rock stars down there. Um, you can check out Matt's uh, Polaris Razor build and Seth's Can-Am uh, X3 build on our YouTube channel. Uh, we did a full breakdown of their cars. They're pretty uh, pretty sweet. Nothing really crazy on the builds, but these cars go fast. They go pretty reliably, and uh, Matt's Razor is a, a wheelie monster, so go check those guys out. Um, they know what they're doing. Uh, Matt's pick... Um, the Dune Gear Touch uh, Dome Light. That's a pretty cool solution. Um, having the ability to bypass the entire um, option to have a switch on the dash for your dome light uh, when you're limited on your switch selection, like if you have an XP series um, or a limited dash space based off of your build, uh, having a touch dome light will just take one more button off your dash. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. Anybody can do it. They don't have to look around to figure out which button it is. They can just touch it. It works. Um, I'd caution, uh, you know, maybe it's touched to accessory power or something. So you don't leave it on all, all night, but, uh, but yeah, that's a very cool, uh, very cool pick. Um, Seth's pick for the, um, UTV stereo, 
uh, charge post, uh, battery post relocation kit. Uh, that's a pretty popular kit for guys that are running lots of accessories on their Can-Am. Um, and uh, if you know the Can-Am behind the passenger seat where the battery bay is, uh, this extends from the battery to two post terminals that stick out the back fender well. And then you can actually um, put a battery tender on that or use it as a jumping uh, post for other cars makes life really easy, especially if you have um, aftermarket seats that are bolted down and uh, getting to the battery bay is uh, a lot more tedious than a quick release uh, seat that may come from the factory. Uh, Fred, uh, recommending the Amped Off-Road harnesses uh, from our friend Taylor at Amped Off-Road. Uh, yeah, great solution. Uh, everybody should have harnesses in their car. Uh, a lot of cars now come with the retractable harnesses, which I actually and a lot of my friends really like having the flexibility to, you know, reach down and grab something or turn around and look behind you. But uh, if you're really getting serious about going hard on your car, uh, a four point or five point uh, harness kit that is non retractable, that is a that is a firm connection point to the car is highly recommended. Um, and Amped Off-Road has harnesses in, in all the different colors to match your car and build. All right, up next, we have Dylan from Dirt Life Media. If you uh, enjoy the life and culture of off-roading and adventure and um, kind of that uh, rambling Rose type style of uh, travel and experience, uh, check out Dylan's channel, Dirt Life Media. Um, this guy kind of gave up everything and bought a truck and trailer and a pro R and is traveling around the country. He's now settled down, um, in Oregon with M, uh, with one Oh six motorsports. Um, and, uh, he's going to be helping out those guys and creating a lot of content over there for the winter. Uh, but check out his channel. He's, he's a unique cat. He has a lot of, uh, really funny posts. He's a, he, he has a really good sense of humor. Um, yeah, good follow. Check him out. Hey guys, Dylan with Dirt Life Media. While you're holiday shopping this year for your off-roader, be sure to check out the Sacket, the off-road trash bag for all. With these quick connect bungee cords, you can attach it anywhere on the vehicle, super quick and easy. At only 40 bucks, it's a great gift for everybody on your list. Thanks, Dylan. I know that Dylan's been doing a lot of um, trail and desert cleanup uh, initiatives when he goes out on his travels. Uh, he'll visit the dunes, he'll visit the events, whatever, and then he'll stay after you know, and then help the cleanup crew go through the dunes, go through the, the camping grounds um, and pick up trash that people left behind. Um, you know, that's really in the spirit of, of keeping what we have and not losing it uh, to some bad apples. Something that we should all consider as an option to do when we travel. Uh, maybe go a day later, uh, help out, clean up, make the place better than we found it. And the uh, sacket bag is something that we've recommended in the past multiple times on our channel as something you can just bolt on to, uh, not bolt on, but uh, bongo tied to your vehicle. Uh, and then it's just an easy way to throw trash into while you're standing around the cars, uh, making sure that your stuff doesn't escape the, uh, the cabin and, and onto the trails. So the cabin uh, stays clean, uh, the trash stays picked up, and uh, we can keep uh, these beautiful lands that we get to ride in. So thanks for the, uh, uh, the pick on that one, Dylan. Hey, it's Noah here. Uh been off-roading for 20 years i know that getting a gift for christmas can be difficult so here are my top three things for christmas first one is sc1 always good product to have for keeping your vehicle shined up and ready to go the other one would be dirt design gear clothing stuff like that really always good for everyone and you can usually find every size you need the last one would be a gift card from car tech that way it covers all your bases, everything you would need for an off-road vehicle and the person building one or maintaining one. Thanks, Noah. Yeah, Noah's a, a, kind of one of those guys that uh, custom builds his desert pre-runner trucks, uh, big shocks, big tires, uh, full tube chassis, all that stuff. Um, completely killer builds. They go out, they rip, they have a good time. Um, and uh, yeah, so SE1, always a handy can of... Um, uh, wipe down for your car after you've given it a wash gives it that shine back as a silicon spray so it does come off a little bit slippery um, it can pick up dust um, if it is statically charged so careful with that but uh, if you're looking for a product that makes your uh, old plastics look fresh for the for the next little bit uh, sc ones kind of the magic trick for that um, if you want something that's dedicated to doing that one job um, the other pick dirt designs uh, apparel uh, they've been around for a while, uh, but they really are a group of people that um, support our community and the uh, athletes and ambassadors that really uh, strive to 
uh, create good content and create um, experiential content and push our sport forward. So um, their p- a portion of their sales actually goes back to the athletes to make sure that they're funded to do what they do. So if you see us uh, an athlete that's sponsored by Dirt Designs, it's because the apparel uh, sales are supporting those athletes. So check them out, Dirt Designs. Uh, they got a lot of cool um, uh, apparel designs and things like that. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, uh, automotive uh, gift card never hurts anybody. Um, car tech being able to source parts and and pieces for your truck, car, UTV, whatever. Uh, check that out. All right, next up, we have our buddy Kenny. Uh, I got to meet Kenny at Sandsport Super Show last season. Uh, Kenny is one of the current record holders uh, for racing UTVs. I think he's got uh, one of the records for the fastest 60 foot um, and possibly the 300, but I, I'd have to double check those numbers. Um, but uh, he builds some of the biggest, baddest uh, X3s and complete uh, competes you know, with the top dogs in the Outlaw series, things like that. Uh, so shout out to Kenny. Uh, he's doing a lot of cool work. Uh, he's recently over the last year changed, um, speed shops and is working with the guys down in Phoenix to, uh, build high end race cars. Uh, so if you are interested in that, check that out. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kenny from Kenny Reed racing back to the desert YouTube channel and Phoenix speed industries. Just want to get on here real quick and wish everybody a happy holiday and give you my selection for this year's gift guide. It would have to be this element fire extinguisher here. Uh, they weigh about a pound and they actually extinguish longer than the traditional fire extinguisher. Easy to store, cheap, keep your unit and your family safe at the same time. Happy holidays. Keep your shiny side up. Peace. The element fire extinguisher is something I've had my eye on for a long time. Uh, we've talked about it on the channel before. Uh, I may have even picked it before in previous years. Uh, but what it is, is it's a flare style stick that you actually use the cap to ignite the end of the stick. And it seems counterintuitive that you're fighting fire with fire. But what happens is uh, that spark initiates a chain reaction within the stick to create a cloud of this chemical smoke that um, is non-toxic to you. Like I wouldn't recommend breathing it in directly like a vape, but it it, uh, is not going to cause anyone to get sick. But uh, it will consume the oxygen around the fire and cause it to go out. Um, and the runtime on these sticks is fairly long. A lot of people don't realize that their fire extinguishers only last 10, 15 seconds. So um, having a uh, element fire extinguisher in your car is super convenient because it's so slim and compact that you can put it up in the roll cage or you can put it on the side or or whatever. And all you have to do is treat it like a road flare. It's pretty simple. Um, and uh, And then you just basically hold it right above the fire and it'll start to consume it. Um, they have different sizes for different purposes, uh, with UTVs and all the plastics and things that are on these cars. I'd recommend the bigger one just to, uh, try to squash that fire as best as you can, as fast as you can. Um, but for a racing application where you want to make sure you're, um, as light, lightweight as possible, these are a great solution. Um, but, uh, if you're in an area where you may be doing a lot of drag racing or you may be doing rock crawling or you may be doing, uh, various different, uh, types of, of, uh, riding where the engine's going to get super hot. Um, you're not going to get a lot of airflow where things may start to melt down and cause, um, a breakdown in a fire. Uh, having something like this ready to go is a great option. Thanks, Kenny. Hey guys, my name is Blake Shipman. I do video production for Action Sports and a lot of other people that uh, like to sell products. And one of my favorite products I wanted to share with you for this holiday season has got to be an action camera, whether it be from DJI with their Osmo, the GoPro, the Insta360. If you're out there riding around and you wanna document your fun times, I think that is the best way to relive those moments. If you are stuck at the office and you just wanna click over for a minute, check out the time you had with your best buds out on the trails, in your favorite machine, one of those action cameras is probably the best product you can find for the holiday season. So it makes the year so much better living those times again and just, yeah, check it out. Happy holidays. All right. Thanks, Blake. Uh, yeah, Blake Shipman uh, has a number of different social media channels that you can follow uh, for him personally. Uh, and then he does a lot of camera work and uh, content creation for other brands in the off-road moto world. Uh, he's kind of one of those unique cats that has a lot of personality ready to go at any moment in time. Um, shout out to his uh, Christmas PJs and Christmas tree in the background. Um, I told him I'd firmly put him in the Christmas tree up all year long category. Um, I'm very much a uh, Christmas day only decoration type of guy. 
but uh but yeah shout out to him uh he is a hilarious person makes lots of funny reels check him out online um action cameras are kind of like that de facto if you don't have one you should probably get one type of talking points um people ask all the time you know what what camera should i buy to you know create content around our um going out on the trails or uh out of the dunes or whatever um People often think of the action cameras as a one trick pony, but if you know how to um, detach the camera from your car and put it in different places, you can do a lot with a GoPro. Um, and now we have the 360 cameras that can do a lot of interesting things. Um, we've recommended GoPros in the past. Um, and now that GoPro 11, I think just came out, right? Um, that camera actually has a square, a square, square ish sensor so that you can record at any angle and then re rotate that camera um after the fact so like you can just put it up on the cage at a, we're always consumed with putting the cameras at a you know perfectly straight angle uh but with that camera you can literally you know just mount it anywhere and have straight footage so it's super cool um the stabilization technology is super rad um and the 360 cameras are cool because it records an entire 360 perspective and then you can reframe the shot as you see fit so you can zoom in and out rotate around you can go from the the passenger to the driver and then out the window things like that um super cool stuff and uh yeah check it out gopro.com um dji.com and uh insta360.com they all have action cameras and 360 cameras now Hey everybody, this is Courtney from King of the Hammers and I was asked what some of my personal recommendations would be on gifts for this holiday season. So I wanted to help some of you guys out there who didn't quite know what to get the women on your list. So Vixen Industries, uh, Be Pretty, Play Dirty, Beautiful Badass, those are some of their clothing items and apparel lines. They're amazing, they're cute, they're sassy, love them. Um, also shop Charlie Gray, it's Charlie Gray on Instagram been one of my favorites for years. Um, it's a boutique that makes custom race clothing for women. So t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, flannels, all kinds of great stuff. It's hand dyed, um, hand bleached. It's so cute. So those are some of my favorites and recommendations. Good luck shopping. All right. Thanks, Courtney. If you don't know Courtney, Courtney works with the King of Hammers media team. Um, she does a lot of uh, marketing and uh, sometimes you'll see her behind the camera. Um, or in front of the camera, sorry, with the microphone hosting uh, segments on the various channels that uh, you, be, you may be watching for King of the Hammers or Ultra 4 or whatever. Uh, super cool uh, person uh, and, and participates in one of the coolest parts of our industry. So for Courtney's picks, uh, Vixen Industries uh, is an apparel company uh, focused around kind of like the badass persona women's uh, off-roading started by Becky McDonough, uh, who is also uh, is the wife of um, um, the driver of the Titan monster truck. Uh, so she drives monster trucks and her husband drives monster trucks and they have a clothing company called Vixen Industries. Uh, so they have a lot of different um, shirts and sweaters and things like that that kind of just encompass the off-road attitude uh, for uh, the sassy females in your life. So check that out. Uh, and then Charlie Gray is kind of that um, more feminine style of race vibe uh, apparel. So check those out. They got a lot of cool, um, uh, comfortable looking clothing for the lady in your life. All right, up next, we have Nick from Desert Whips. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Nick Farmer with Desert Whips. And my 2023 holiday gift guide pick would be get yourself a set of car dollies. To make it very easy to push your car in and around your shop if your vehicle's down or you just need to spin it to get more room. We wish everybody happy holidays and a safe riding season. All right, thanks, Nick. Uh, yeah, car dollies are one of those things that if you have a shop where um, getting the car moved around is kind of a big deal. Uh, like my shop, we got a three bay shop but we can't really, you know, drive the cars around in it when we have other cars in the other bays or whatever. So having a car dolly just to simply move it side to side and provide some more, uh, more working room on a workbench or something like that, uh, can be super handy. Um, and it provides a little bit of lift if you're working under the car, um, something like that. I found that if you use car dollies just on the rear end, uh, you can still accomplish a lot of the movement that you need to in a shop. Uh, without having all four. But if you do have a set of four, it does make it super simple to simply push the car sideways, do what you need to do, push it back over and, and get back to work. Uh, so thanks for that pick. 
All right, up next, we got the boys from Addiction Power Sports. I'm going to play them all together real quick uh, and then go back over their uh, selections here. But the guys from Addiction Power Sports, BJ and his crew, uh, BJ and Trevor, they are uh, some really cool cats that will uh, just drive the snot out of their cars to figure out what will break and what performs. Um, BJ's car is kind of an icon and a, and a, uh, a stake in the UTV takeover experience. Uh, you've seen his car. It's a black and green car with a big addiction logo on the door. Uh, it's been jumped by uh, BJ. It's been jumped by Ruslan. It's been jumped by Brandon Raddick. Um, it's been raced in the short courses, the rock uh, races, all sorts of different uh, activities that take over. You've seen that car uh, racing and uh, for the most part winning. Uh, that car is super fast. But uh, check out the boys down at Addiction uh, Power Sports. They got a new website coming out. Uh, this w- next week, actually, um, and uh, proud to say that we're helping those guys get that accomplished. Uh, so shout out to them uh, and congratulations on getting uh, the website going. And uh, yeah, let's let's take a look to their picks. Hey everybody, I'm Brian. I'm sales here at Addiction Power Sports. My gift for this holiday season would be to give my friends and family a full throttle battery, make sure they're not stranded or stuck down in the dunes or out riding. What's up guys, Kyle here at Addiction Power Sports. I'm the service manager here. My gift choice this year would be a 5150 whip. They're some of the best in the industry. They carry a lifetime warranty and they look bitching on your ride when they're partying in the back. Hey guys, my name's Trevor. I'm one of the owners here at Addiction Power Sports. Uh, My gift choice for this holiday season would be a Trinity World's Best Belt. Uh, Their belts are advertised as four times stronger than an OEM belt. Um, we've experienced it. We run them on a race car and on all of our vehicles. They do a great job. Uh, they come with a one-year warranty, and Trinity's a great company, so that's why I support them. What's up, guys? BJ Leach here with Addiction Power Sports Northwest. I'm one of the owners here. Uh, my gift pick idea for the season would be Sector 7 mirrors. Brightest mirrors in the industry. All custom built here in the USA out of built aluminum. Uh, lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects. I personally crashed and landed on these mirrors countless times and the mirrors have never failed me. I've bent cages landing on the mirrors, um, cracked a couple pieces of glass, they're all replaceable. Uh, but anyways, man, these are just the baddest mirrors out there, convex, you can see everything from any angle um, and they provide a ton of light. Most of the time I don't even run with my light bar, I just run with these mirrors. Hope everybody has a safe and happy holiday season. All right, guys. Thanks. Uh, BJ's pick, Sector 7 Mirrors. You, if you know our channel, you know we're a fan of uh, Lynn and Danny and all the guys down at Promo to Billet who make Sector 7 Mirrors. Um, and they just announced a whole new mirror uh, with RGB lighting um, and adjustable mirror in, in contrast to previous models where the mirror and the light were one piece. Now the mirror and the light are two pieces that pivot. Uh, for uh, total control of where you have the light and the mirror. Uh, Sector 7, solid built. Um, I've seen those things smashed into rocks. I've seen the I've seen cages bend and the mirrors be fine. I've seen um, you know mirrors come back completely destroyed and then get rebuilt because they're completely disassemblable. Disassemblable, is that a word? Um, and you can just put them back together, replace the lenses, replace the light boards, whatever the case may be. Um, and they have different mounting options for, you know, an accessory mount or a bung or Can-Am, the, the little gusset uh, mount area. They just they have a number of different mounts that you can utilize. I'm a big fan of their universal accessory mount because it's like a C-clamp that can go behind uh, the roll car, the roll bar, uh, where if you have a windshield, um, it doesn't interfere with that. So super cool, uh, super bright mirrors, the brightest mirrors I've ever seen on a UTV and uh, obviously completely 100% uh, USA made, uh, sourced aluminum in the United States, uh, milled out of Southern Idaho, uh, a great group of guys and a great family of employees down there at Pro Moto Billet. Trinity racing belts, yeah, those are pretty common. Um, people love those belts. It's a pretty popular belt in racing and um, com- competition. Uh, so check ra- trinityracing.com uh, for a selection of those belts as well as Addiction's uh, website. Um, you can go to um, Full Throttle Battery. You know, you guys all know that uh, Ian and I are pretty close, and uh, we've, from day one, uh, kind of represented Full Throttle's uh, battery solutions. It is a deep cycle AGM battery that will keep your car running no matter what. 
Um, you know, as long as you have a way to charge your battery, uh, that battery will perform. Um, the replacements for stock batteries, you almost double uh, your amp hourage uh, for your vehicle by putting a full throttle battery into it. Most of all the sizes are around that double range. Um, and the best thing is it can be in the garage all winter and still start up the next time you go out there. I've proven that over and over again. We've had a full throttle battery in our razor for multiple years now. And every winter, you know, we get distracted with editing and work and family and holidays and all that stuff. So we might not go riding for a few months um, and it'll be 10 degrees outside in the shop and we'll crank on the razor and it'll start right up. So uh, shout out to full throttle battery um, and those solutions. And just a side note, um, UTV Stereo was uh, their, their battery post kit that was mentioned earlier from Seth at UTV Obsessions. They also have a dual battery kit that you can use with full throttle battery. Um, and you can pull uh, two batteries into series or parallel and get um, a lot more power and a lot more amperage hour into your car if you have a lot of accessories, stereo equipment, lights, things like that. All right, and, and to close out the Addiction Crew, uh, 5150 Whips, pretty popular brand in off-road. Um, they have a pretty popular series of RGB style whips um, that do all the dancing and light changes and all that stuff. And they have a replacement guarantee. You send it in, they replace it for you. Um, if you're into constantly breaking your whips, um, that may be a, might be a good value for you just because uh, you can just keep sending in broken whips and they'll keep sending them back. Hey guys, it's Martin here with UTV Stereo. And what I would recommend this holiday season would be the Switch Pro 9100. Got the easy panel here with the switches here. Pretty simple. That is something I would recommend for the holidays. Happy holidays. Happy From holidays. UTV Stereo, guys. Thanks, Martin. Yeah, the Switch Pro's 9100 series is pretty much a industry de facto eight switch, uh, solid state type switch control panel and a uh, solid state power package. Um, those are really, really, uh, common and popular in the racing world. Um, they also have a larger series that has more buttons on it. Um, super cool. Um, super reliable. Uh, we've had a few, uh, cars with those on them. Um, and the solid state, uh, power distribution block, um, can get really hot. So I would challenge you to not put that where it gets hot by the turbo. Um, but they are super convenient and don't have you wiring a bunch of relays and a bunch of switches and stuff on your dash. Um, it's a nice way to extend your switching options without having to take up uh, or fabricate more switching positions in your plastics. Hey, this is George with Double E Racing. This year, my gift pick would be Honda Talon ECU tuning from PPEI. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks, George. Yeah, uh, Honda Talon seems to be a popular topic these days. Um, yeah, getting your uh, tune for your car is you know one of those first performance upgrades that anyone can do. Uh, PPI has a solution for you on the Honda Talon. Uh, earlier, we mentioned the Craftworks Turbo solution. Uh, this was purely a tune option. Uh, they have a various selection of options for your car, but the just doing a tune can really wake up your car, really um, help with the throttle control on the Talons. Um, but uh, check them out at PPI. All right, next up, Trailstar Audio. Hey guys, Chuck from Trailstar Audio. Uh, I just want to show you something I use around the shop all the time. It's called a Klein Flush Cut or Clean Cut. It's so when you cut off your zip ties, they don't leave that sharp edge. Don't cut yourself later when you're digging around underneath your dash. They're about 12 bucks on Amazon. If you, they do break once in a while, but you just buy another one, only 12 bucks. Snap-on makes one as well. Um, great tool to have around the shop. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you guys have a great year. Thanks, Chuck. Uh, yeah, Klein flush cuts are pretty much indispensable in my shop. I have multiple pairs of them in multiple toolboxes uh, in various tool bags. Um, they are fairly indispensable. If you've ever been working on your car and reached into your dash and come out bleeding from a gash caused by a zip tie that wasn't cut properly, um, you'll know that flush cuts are fairly indispensable. Um, so yeah, Klein flush cuts, you can get them at Home Depot or online or Amazon or, or anywhere really. Um, and they're fairly cheap. Uh, there's various different brands that you can get. Um, the Kleins have done pretty good for me. I like the grips on them. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's various different variations of them. Um, and to take that one step further, if you're doing a lot of zip tying, if you're doing a lot of like full teardown chassis builds, 
um, the clients, uh, the, the flush cuts are really handy there, but also they have dedicated zip tie uh, pullers and cutters. Um, but uh, just make sure you're not pulling them too tight to where you're crushing the wire. Uh, but thanks for that, Chuck. All right, next up we have Ryan from Shadow Six. And if you don't know who Shadow Six is, um, you must be living under a rock. These are the guys that came out with the AUV, the the Razor built on top of two jet skis. Um, this is totally unique and is way more complicated than people realize. Um, the Razor on top of the uh, jet skis is, for the, for the most part, just the shell and roll cage and all that and the suspension. Um, and the two jet skis underneath are actually two independent jet skis that have two throttles on the steering wheel. Um, and that thing just completely shreds and rips on the water. And I can't wait to talk to these guys. I'm hoping to get them on the podcast soon. So Ryan, if you're listening, uh, let's make that happen. Um, I know you've been super busy at SEMA, uh, with your second build of the AUV, but let's, uh, let's find out what you have as your pick. Hey guys, it's Ryan, President and CEO of Shadow Six Racing and inventor of the Aquatic Utility Vehicle. The top of my wish list this year has the ARQ four-wheel drive canopy, and it'll protect you from the elements no matter where you are. Hope you have a great holiday season and a great new year. All right, thanks, Ryan. Uh, the ARQ four-wheel drive uh, canopy. Uh, if you've if you've been in overlanding, you know that there's these solutions where you can pull out a canopy off the side of the rig, uh, mounted on some poles. Um, and have a nice shaded area to sit and eat and, and whatnot. Uh, these ones are really cool because they're self-contained without anything underneath them. So uh, there are no masts to set up vertically to, to support it. It's actually got arms that swing out and extend horizontally from the frame and allow you to have that uh, shaded area uh, in various different coverage patterns around your car in a way where you're not having to um, stake down or walk around or trip over, you know, the support systems that have um, to be utilized on various other vehicles. They're kind of like a big umbrella that just pops out off of your vehicle and uh, would be a really cool solution for anybody looking to do overlanding um, or extended uh, camping uh, trips. Um, and, I'm, and I'm sure that you could probably put these on a UTV. They look a little bit heavy for a UTV. But uh, but they definitely could be utilized and they have some smaller options that would probably do really well. Um, but they have 90 degree solutions, 180 degree solutions and 270 uh, degree solutions that go from the back all the way around the side of the vehicle. So various different options. Super cool that you don't have to put up with annoying uh, stake downs or or tent poles, things like that. Um, so super cool there. And uh, go check out his social media channels uh, for um, Shadow Six Racing. Um, they do a lot of really cool stuff, uh, not only with the AUV that they invented. Um, and again, that thing is way, way more complicated than anyone thinks about. They have a ton of safety factors, a ton of different things going into that build. So go check that out. Um, they've got hovercrafts going. They've got like track, like little mini cars going. They've got a whole bunch of different stuff. They have a, like a single seater cockpit jet ski thing going. Um, yeah, they got a ton of really cool, crazy stuff going on over there. And uh, they got some high horsepower jet ski motors that they're also doing um, that you can purchase and install in your kit. So uh, check them out. All right. Last up, we have our boy, uh, Justin Rainwater. Uh, let's see what his pick is. Well, hello. It's Justin from WCI Off-Road and Anvil Off-Road. Looking for that great gift for the 22 season for Christmas? Our suggestion would be the Boxo USA UTV Tool Roll. Not only comes complete with 66 tools for you to do all your major repairs, minor repairs, or fixes on the trail, but it also fits well in any side-by-side -side and underneath any Christmas tree. So if you're looking for a great gift for 22, go with the Boxo USA UTV Tool Roll. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, the uh, if you don't know Justin, he was the guy we did a build breakdown on his portaled Can-Am Maverick build that was out in the middle of the dunes at DuneFest in Oregon this year. Um, super cool car that they built. Uh, a lot of cool partners uh, that they worked with. Uh, WCI Cages, our Northwest uh, Cage Builders down there on the coast. Uh, rigid lights, um, audio systems, all sorts of different stuff in that car. Um, and uh, just a teaser, they got a whole new build coming up. They got multiple builds coming up uh, that we're hoping to cover for them as well. Um, but the box of tool, uh, role for UTVs is super useful. Uh, Ian's got one in his trailer. Uh, it has hammers, uh, grips, uh, screwdrivers, socket sets, um, all sorts of different things that you would need, uh, to do a trail side recovery mission 
or you know if you just need to do some work on next to the trailer um, when you're out camping or, or ripping uh, tons of stuff in that tool roll it is a fairly heavy tool roll um, from my experience but it's because there's so many tools in the actual tool wrap. So high quality tool wrap, high quality tools. Uh, they got a really good warranty system, uh, really good customer service. They support our industry. So um, support them with your dollars if you're looking for a tool roll as well. So yeah, uh, super excited to uh, wrap this up. Uh, this again was a kind of like a last minute uh, reach out to everybody to say, hey, if you want to be a part of it, send a video to me. Um, and I'm stoked to have everybody participate, uh, this year on a first time, first effort type thing. I think it's been a lot of fun to do it. Um, maybe next year we could do something where, uh, maybe it's more of a live interactive, uh, episode where maybe the community can be involved. Uh, if you want to know, uh, if you want to see that happen, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you're listening, uh, let us know in the DMS, um, but uh, yeah, a lot of great picks. You'll be able to find all of these picks, the details, the links uh, to the people and the products that they picked um, on our website, sidebysideguys.com. Uh, so check that out. Uh, let us know if you pick something out uh, as a gift for somebody else or for yourself. We all know that uh, these deals and gift guides and all that stuff go both ways in our industry. So uh, I'm super interested to know if anyone gets anything. Uh, and if you get something or find something that's interesting, uh, this season, let us know. I'm always interested in ears for new products that benefit our community. So follow us uh, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, give us a subscribe on YouTube. That'd be awesome. Uh, if you're listening to the podcast, give us a, a thumbs up and a five star rating if you feel we deserved it. Um, and stay tuned. In a few days, we're going to come out with our deals guide where it is a collection of all the UTV uh, sales and promotions going on in our industry for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, all that wrapped into one location on our website, sidebysideguys.com. And you can go and buy category audio deals, uh, suspension deals, performance deals, audio deals, um, uh, recovery deals, all those different things are categorized. And you can see everybody's deals all in one place and go support those retailers that support our industry and at the same time, get some really great products. So check that out. Um, and until the next time, guys, peace.